Hi, my name is Josh Evilsizer, and today I'm going to show you how to enable auto advance in Gmail to zero your inbox. So if you're here to learn how to enable auto advance in Gmail, you're in the right spot. That is what I'm going to show you. However, if you want to know why you should enable it or how to use it, please check out the videos down below. How to enable the auto advanced function or feature. This thing comes disabled by default in Gmail, and I'm going to show you what disabled looks like. So you open an email, you hit reply, you put your reply in the uh, body there, and then you hit the send an archive button, which is going to take this email away. It's going to archive it after I send it. And if it's enabled, I'm going to move to the next conversation. But because it's disabled, it's going to bounce me back to my inbox. And so I'll hit send, and you'll see me get bounced back to my inbox. So that's what disabled looks like. We want the opposite of that. I'm going to read the instructions and then we'll demo. So to enable it, we do a couple very simple things. Settings wheel, see all settings, advanced, auto advance, enable. Let's do that. So settings wheel, see all settings, advanced, and then enable. Save changes. We're going to pause and go back here for a second and talk about what turning this on will do. Turning this on will show the next conversation. Instead of your inbox, after you delete, archive, or mute a conversation. That's great, but what does next mean? Next to you depends on the order that you process emails. Do you process your inbox top down? That is newest to oldest, which is kind of the standard approach uh, and the best one. <laughs> That's a whole nother conversation. Uh, or do you process your inbox bottom up, oldest to newest, and no judgment there if you do. Uh, if you process your inbox backwards, I mean, sorry, bottom up, <clears throat> there is one more step, and we're going to cover that next. Uh, settings, see all settings general, auto advance, and you're going to select go to the next or newer conversation. So if you're starting older to newer, right, bottom up, this is the one you want to select. Um, and I'm going to show you how to do that now. So settings wheel, see all settings, general, and then we're going to scroll down. And here it is, auto advance. And remember, you got to enable it first or it won't show up here. Um, so once you've enabled it, now you come here. And if you are a backwards processor, you're going to change it from the default selection here to this one. Go to the next <laughs> newer conversation. Um, I don't process email that way. I process it top to bottom. So I'm going to leave this selected. Uh, and then save changes. We didn't make any. Uh, and then back to your inbox. And then you'll see how this now works. So let's go ahead and op open this one. I'm going to hit reply. Thank you. And when I hit send an archive, you're going to see it bring me to the next conversation instead of bouncing, back, bouncing me back to my inbox. And there we go. Now we're in the next conversation. I could archive this, move on to the next conversation, move on to the next conversation. And you might be able to see uh, how using this function or feature can speed up your inbox processing. But I'm going to cover all of that in a different video. This is just the how-to. All right. I covered all of these steps right here about processing your inbox normally. Uh, I'll reiterate, though, if you process normally, leave it on this setting, the go to the previous or older conversation. So leave it at a default. Uh, save changes and verify, which we did. We demoed it, and that's it. I got a pro tip for you, as always. Uh, use auto advance like a superhuman. If you're interested in doing that, uh, if taking control and crushing your inbox interests you, <laughs> learn how to use auto advance plus send an archive plus shortcuts to own your inbox. And all of this goodness is packed into video number 58, which is linked down below. Uh, if you want more, this video brought you some of the know-how. Uh, some of my other videos provide the know why, so check those out. Uh, as always, if this was helpful, please like, subscribe, and share with somebody else that might find it helpful. Uh, remember, 
you can find my contact info uh, and ways to contact me in the comments down below. Uh, also, if you leave a question, I will leave an answer. Thank you for watching and have a great day.